Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a Gilded Altar to train prayer on your Iron Man. To build a Gilded Altar, you will need a chapel in your house. For this you need level 45 construction and 50k. The Gilded Altar itself requires level 75 construction, but with a crystal saw and a plus 5 boost from a spicy stew, you can build it as low as level 67. The materials you will need are 2 marble blocks, 2 bolts of cloth and 4 gold leaves. The bolts of cloth you can buy from a lumberjack and the golden marble blocks you can buy from the stonemason in Caldegrim. It'll cost you around 1.2 mil. You will also need to build at least oak incense burners with level 61 construction, 4 oak planks and 2 steel bars. There are 2 incense burners but building in either spot will create both. Once you've got your gilded altar built, one thing I would definitely recommend you do is go into build mode and go into house options and what you want to do is move the gilded altar as close as possible to your portal. Uh, you might have already built your chapel close anyway but yeah, you definitely want to move it close. If you've got a room in the way of where you want your chapel to be, like me, then just go into your viewer here and I'm going to move my superior garden just up one out of the way and then confirm that and then my chapel is, um, I don't actually need to close that, my chapel is all the way down here, I just had it out of the way. So I'm going to move that up here, um, it's like done. And what might also be better here is you can rotate it because right now I'll have a slightly longer walk. This isn't really that important, but... If you want to make it as efficient as possible, I'm going to rotate it so I just have to go up here. So you can just click rotate. I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise. Click done. And now from the portal, I will go up here. I'll light these burners um, and it should be the quickest way possible to do it as far as I'm aware. And there you go. So there are actually two methods that I'm going to show you on how to do this. One of them involves teleporting to and from your house, and I believe this one's slightly faster. The other one is where you exchange noted bones for items in Remington. With either method, you will need a tinderbox, two marantals per trip, and of course, whatever bones you're using. If you want to, you can wear weight-reducing clothing, like graceful, although this isn't strictly necessary, especially if you have a rejuvenation pool in your house, because there's not a lot of running, and you can restore it for free in your house. If you want to use teleport to house, I'd also recommend having a dust battle staff, um, and that'll act as air and earth rune, so you'll only need one lore rune per trip. Uh, you can also use a construction cape if you've got that. One more thing I feel like it's important to go over before getting started, if you're using rune light, you can actually use menu entry swappers to speed things up. By default, of course, left clicking will just bury the bones, but what you can actually do is, if you have the menu entry swapper plugin enabled in rune light, then all you need to do is right click on the inventory symbol here, uh, you can configure left click or shift click depending on what you want. I'll do left click and what I can do is instead of having it on berry, I will click on use and I right click save and now every single time I want to use the dragon bone on the gilded altar I can just left click it here. Now I'll start off with method one here and first you want to make sure in your house options you've got teleport inside on. I'll just speed things up a bit so however you want to teleport to your house, teleport and the first thing you want to do is light both of the incense burners. So just run over here and with the Runelite plugins you'll be able to see how long they last but it shouldn't ever run out while you're in here and I should mention that it will run out if you leave the house so you need to relight it every time and now just use the dragon bones on here and if you want to do it AFK this is it it'll just do it automatically it'll do it slightly slower than manually but yeah you'll get like two or three hundred k xp per hour doing this it's uh, very easy and if you want to just watch a tv show or something while you're doing this then this is the way to do it now, if you want to do things a bit faster here and don't mind putting in a bit of extra effort, then you can do it manually. And to do this, you just need to zoom in and basically just line up your inventory as close as possible to the Gilded Altar. And then I just left click as a menu entry swappers and use it. And you can just keep using them very quickly. You kind of just wait for the XP drop to use it. But um, yeah, as quickly as you're able to use these, you should be able to get about, I think, higher than 600k XP per hour if you're doing this consistently. So... Yeah, this will definitely get you through your dragon bones a lot quicker. And when you're done with your inventory, you can either just teleport out with a spell, or if you've got something in your house, I've got a mounted glory. I can just teleport out over here, for example, and restock my inventory and just keep doing this over and over again. Now I'm going to show you the second method, and the main reason to do this is basically just to save on lore runes if you don't want to waste them constantly teleporting to your house. So you want your house set in Remington here, and you want to bring your tinderbox still, you want to bring some money, you want to bring noted marantles, and you want to bring your noted dragon bones. And you'll just go down to files here, use your marantles on him, choose X, and you want two of them. 
and then use your dragon bones and exchange all of them. So it'll cost a little bit of money, cost like 120 coins or something for all of them, and then you just go up to your house and basically just do what we did on the previous method. You'll go up, you'll light your burners, and use all your dragon bones. Now when you're done with that, you just go repeat the process, so just leave your house, you don't have to teleport anywhere, go down to files again and do it all over again. And that'll wrap up the guide guys, I hope this was helpful, let me know if it was, and if it was, leave a like please, and subscribe for more guides like this, let me know if there's any others you want to see, and I will see you in the next guide, or whatever video I make.